Okay, so we're going to get started with Tailwind Basics. Uh, so in this video, we're going to cover adding the extension to your internet browser. I'm going to cover Chrome and Firefox, and then also um, creating your first pin in Tailwind from Chrome. Um, before you watch this video, you should definitely make sure that you've already registered for your Tailwind account, and you should make sure that you have um, authorized Tailwind to use your Pinterest account all of which is really easy to do and can be done during the actual um, account signup process. So once you've got your account ready, once you're authorized, uh, go ahead and open up your internet browser. Uh, we're going to start with Chrome, just because I've already got that open. Um, so to add Tailwind to your Chrome browser, click on the upper right hand corner here and then just go to settings. And then on the left hand side, click on extensions. Sure, there's probably an easier way to do this. This is just the way that I do it. It's the way I've always done it. So sorry if there's a couple extra steps. And then click on get more extensions down at the bottom there. And now we're in the Chrome Web Store. So we can just type Tailwind into the search bar, hit enter, and click on this add to Chrome button. And that will add the extension right into your Chrome browser which is super easy. So now I'm just gonna click on the Tailwind icon in my Chrome toolbar. And you can see here, um, it gives you the option to remove, to hide if you want to. I don't know why you'd wanna do that though. Uh, you won't actually use this button often, if ever, I don't think I've ever used it. What it really does is it adds a um, little tailwind icon onto every image that you see. So I'll show you an example here. It adds this little bluebird right on there. So now let's do Firefox. So these are the uh, extensions that I've already installed to my Firefox. So I'm going to open up a second tab here. This is the add-ons um, on Firefox's or Mozilla's website. So I'm just going to type Tailwind, hit enter, and there she is. Click on Add to Firefox, install, and it's been installed successfully. Um, I'm not sure where Tailwind install, installs to on Firefox, just because I don't really use Tailwind, or I don't use Firefox, I guess I should say. Um, but again, you don't need to click the actual icon guy, you'll just need the um, ability to click on images within your web browser. So I'm going to get out of Firefox and apparently go into Tidal. <laughs> I'm going to get out of Firefox just because um, I'm just going to use Chrome. It'll be easier and they work exactly the same way. So get rid of those guys. So let's say that you are browsing and let's find a good pin. That looks pretty sweet. So let's click on the little tailwind icon there. Um, you'll see I have like a bunch of other stuff like buffer and stuff, but just ignore that. So this is your Tailwind window. This is why you installed that extension into your internet browser, because now it will allow you to pin directly from the content that you're looking at. Uh, and this is the window that pops up when you do that. So here's your pin. If you don't want it anymore, you can click on the little trash can. Um, you can choose your board name. You can edit the description, you can cross post it to Facebook and Twitter if you like, and you can also set a custom time. I'll go into interval posting later, which is the custom time slot. Uh, for the purposes of this tutorial, we're just pinning a straightforward pin, or rather adding it to our queue. So I'm going to add this pin to my blogging board. So I'm going to type blogging, and it will come up with all of my options here. I want to put this on my blogging and business board. Description looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to click on add to queue now. And what that's going to do is it's just going to add it to my queue and Tailwind will post it um, in accordance to whatever time I've set on my schedule. So now if we go to Tailwind, go to our dashboard here and publish scheduled pins we'll now be able to see that's been added to our queue we can see it there and we can see it there as well so that's super super basic um, pinning right from pinterest 
Uh, one other thing I'm actually going to mention right now is if you click it and want to save it for later, instead of clicking the Schedule Now button, you can click Save for Later. And what this will do is add it to your drafts, which is this guy right here. Um, so if you want to, you can draft a bunch of pins and then go back and edit the descriptions, choose the boards, whatever you want. Um, you can just do it all from one page. So if I wanted to, to pin this pin, which I'm not going to do because I've already added it to my queue, I would just type in the board name, choose, let's choose a different one, let's choose this list, and this has all my group boards on it. And then we just add to queue that way, and that would be from our draft. If we no longer want the draft, uh, I can delete the pin, confirm, and it will still be in my scheduled pins, because the pin that we did before this, I just added it right to the scheduled pin. Um, once you get the hang of it, super straightforward. You won't even see the pin it or save button anymore on Pinterest, and you'll go right for the Tailwind button instead.